Hi, welcome to the discussion of isometric views of simple solids. Under this, now we will discuss about isometric view of a cylinder. What is the given problem? Draw the isometric view of a cylinder of base diameter 60 mm and axis height 80 mm resting on its base on HP and axis parallel to the VP. This is the given problem. Here, the cylinder is resting on its base on HP. That means its top view it is a circle and axis parallel to the VP. Then front view you will get rectangle. So as a first step, we have to draw the orthographic projections of a cylinder. This is the top view of a cylinder that is a circle and this is the front view of a cylinder that is a rectangle. After drawing the orthographic projections of a cylinder, then we have to enclose the circle in a square for drawing the isometric view of a circle. say A, B, C, D, P, Q, R, S and the circle meeting the square at four different places that is the intersection points of the circle and square as numbered as 1, 2, 3, Four and one one two one three one four one as it is having two circular bases bottom base as well as top base. Now we will draw isometric view of the square first. After that we will draw isometric view of a circle. As a first step what we have to do is as the square all four sides of the square are parallel to the horizontal plane that's why all four sides need to make an angle of 30 degrees to the ground line. So first step draw ground line then 30 degrees inclination lines I mean Z axis X axis next B is resting on ground B point is resting on ground then B C line is making an angle 30 degrees B A line also making an angle 30 degrees with compass BC as radius B as center draw an arc similarly here also draw an arc after that say A B C now we have to locate a point D then parallel to BC passing through A dry line similarly parallel to AB passing through C dry line then name this point as drawing square in isometric view is completed then we have to draw box as this is a square plane that is it is having two dimensions now we have to add one more dimension that is height the axis height is given as 80 mm so from all four corners of the square base with a height of 80 mm draw height lines 
the given axis height say 80 mm at k draw one line at b also at c also in the given axis height say P Q R yes top base then join P Q Q R PS SR so this is the top base of a square prism I mean this is construction of a box after that locate midpoint of PQ QR PS SR as one is a midpoint on PQ, two is a midpoint on uh, QR, three is a midpoint on uh, RS, four is a midpoint on uh, PS. So this is 1 1, 2 1, 3 1, 4 1. Next step join Q to the opposite midpoints. Similarly, join S yes to the opposite midpoint, say 1, 1 and 2, 1. Name this one as 5 and this one as 6. The method which we are using for construction of circle in isometric Q is 4 center method. Now, Q as a center, Q41 as a radius, draw an arc. Similarly, S as a center, then 5 as a center. 5 4 as a radius similarly 6 as a center 6 3 as a radius q 4 1 as a radius q as a center draw an arc s 1 1 as a radius s as a center draw an arc 5 as a center 5 1 as a radius draw an arc 6 as a center 6 3 1 as a radius draw an arc this is the isometric view of a circle in top face. Next step is locating midpoint for AB side as well as BC side AC side Next step is locating midpoint for AB, say 1, midpoint of BC that is 2, AD, 
that is 4 cd that is 3 then join b4 b3 then d1 d2 next name this one as 5 and this one as 6 the method which we are using for construction of circle in isometric view is 4 center method next b as a center b4 as a radius next d as a center d1 as a radius next 5 as a center 5 4 as a radius 6 6 as a center 6 3 or 6 2 as radius after drawing the bottom base then join the bottom base and top base with a vertical line and this line is making an angle 90 degrees to the ground line it is we are joining extreme edges of the two bases here the observer is looking in this direction for the observer top base is visible whereas the bottom base this portion is not visible that's why here it is dotted drawing isometric view of a cylinder when its base is on h and axis parallel to vp is completed 